Professor Abbott has been investigating this case for so many years now and it's completely consumed his whole being. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for bizarre deaths that have become infamous for their mysterious circumstances. There was no blood at the scene, so they knew that uh, she had been killed elsewhere. Number 10, Thelma Todd. I want to go places, I want to do things, I want freedom, I want liberty, I want justice. <laughs> Madam, you're making history. During the golden age of Hollywood, Todd was carving out her legend as a comedic actor when her life came to a tragic end. In 1935, she was found in her car inside the garage belonging to her business associates Jewel Carmen and Roland West in Los Angeles. At the time, Todd was reportedly having an affair with West. The night before the tragedy, she argued with her ex-husband at a party before being driven home by her chauffeur. Dreams? <laughs> I can't even sleep anymore wondering who he's chasing around with. It was officially deemed that she had perished from accidental carbon monoxide poisoning. However, some people claimed to have seen Todd alive the following morning. Reports of her being extorted and attacked days before added to the rumors that she was actually murdered. Do you think a little girl like me could understand them? I think a little girl like you would understand practically anything. Number 9. Gareth Williams The government's ruled that the evidence to the inquest about Gareth's work will be heard in secret. In 2010, after his colleagues reported not hearing from him for several days, police went to check on this MI6 employee at his residence in London. They discovered a large bag closed and locked on the outside. Inside was the key and William's remains. There'd be no sign of forced entry at Gareth's flat, but the door had been locked from the outside. By whom? The investigation found no fingerprints on the bag or lock and no forced entry. It's not clear exactly how Williams died. An inquest concluded a poison or carbon dioxide poisoning was responsible and that a third party was likely involved. However, the Metropolitan Police controversially claimed Williams had locked himself in the bag, even though experts agreed this was probably impossible. In 2015, a Russian defector claimed Williams had been assassinated by Russian intelligence for refusing to become a double agent. I do not believe that uh, the forces or the agency had anything to do with his death, but we do have a habit of going in and cleaning up, yes, and I do believe that happened. Number 8. Rodney Marks in 2000, what might be the first ever murder in Antarctica took place, and to this day, no one has been charged with it. At the time, Australian astrophysicist Rodney Marks was working at the Amundsen-Scott South Pole Station. Over three days, Marks became unwell and sought aid from the station's doctor. However, before his condition could be diagnosed, he passed away. Later, an autopsy determined the cause was methanol poisoning. The investigation deemed that Marks hadn't done this to himself and must have unknowingly ingested the methanol. Yet a later coroner's report claimed there was no evidence of foul play. We may never know what actually happened to Rodney Marks. Ah, oh, she's a sticker. Give me a hand. Number seven, Karen Silkwood. She becomes a different person. But what she carried from her previous life were the very things that drove her to become a whistleblower. She was a chemical technician in Oklahoma in 1974 and was active in the union. During a normal testing procedure, she shockingly discovered her home and body contaminated with plutonium from her workplace. Silkwood testified to the Atomic Energy Commission about her terrifying find. Then, she made an appointment to meet with a journalist and a union leader to expose what had happened, allegedly taking evidence with her. Hey, Dolly, did you, uh, did you tell the company about the New York Times? No, I don't think I remembered about that part. However, Silkwood was found deceased in her car on the side of the road after hitting a culvert, and her evidence was missing. Officially, the investigation stated that she had fallen asleep after taking sedatives and crashed her vehicle. However, evidence of another car at the site led to rumors that her death was actually murder. The hour I first Number 6. The Lead Masks Case In 1966, police arrived at a remote location in Rio de Janeiro to find the bodies of Manuel Pereira da Cruz and Miguel José Viana. What they discovered at the scene has led to confusion ever since. Both men were dressed in suits and wearing lead eye masks. Nearby was an empty water bottle, wet towels, and a notebook with strange instructions about swallowing a capsule at a specific time. Their cause of death couldn't be determined, as the overstretched coroner's office was unable to examine the duo for weeks, leading to decomposition. 
with no explanation for their demise and no suspects. This resulted in all sorts of speculation about what happened, including aliens and cult involvement. Number 5. Zygmunt Adamski after going missing for several days, the body of this coal miner was located by the police in Todmorden, England. Strangely, he was wearing a suit, but the shirt was missing along with his watch and wallet, and his hair had been roughly chopped. Adamski also had unusual burns on his shoulders, neck, and back that had been treated with a substance that forensics couldn't identify. The coroner gave Adamski's death an open verdict, but recorded it to be a heart attack. He's still baffled by the questions surrounding the case. Like, what was the substance on the dead man's neck? Six months after this, one of the officers who investigated Adamski's case, Adam Godfrey, spoke about seeing a UFO nearby. As such, this led to the theory that Adamski was taken by extraterrestrials. It was about 20 feet wide, 14 feet high. Alpha Bravo 3 to Alpha Bravo Control, message over. Number 4. Edgar Allan Poe. It seems very strange for us to think that a man like Edgar Allan Poe could just vanish. But that's exactly what happened for about five days. As one of the trailblazers of Gothic literature, Poe's passing was just as bizarre and unsettling as his works. In 1849, after vanishing for a week, Poe was found at a tavern in Baltimore. He was wearing ill-fitting and unwashed second-hand clothes and had an unkempt appearance. Poe was seemingly delirious, perhaps intoxicated. Tell Fields, his last name is Reynolds. I'm sorry, sir, you're not making much sense. He was taken to the hospital, but he died shortly after, giving no explanation of what had happened. Poe's short story, The Mystery of Marie Roget, was based on another mysterious demise, that of Mary Rogers in 1841. After being missing for several days, her body was found in the Hudson River. No explanation for her passing was given, but it's speculated gang violence or an abortion gone wrong was responsible. His fiancé's brothers didn't like him. They thought he was after her money and were following him, so he was had on clothing that was not his own. Number three, Elizabeth Short. The quest is forensic evidence to locate the scene of the murder of the Black Dahlia, as 22-year-old Elizabeth Short came to be immortalized in death. In January 1947, a gruesome discovery was made in a vacant lot in Los Angeles, the body of a young woman who had been cut in half. Nicknamed Black Dahlia by the press, Elizabeth Short was said to be an aspiring actor. Before her body was discovered, her whereabouts had been unknown for several days. She was a young woman who left her home to come find fame and fortune, maybe, in Los Angeles. Due to the lack of evidence at the scene, she had seemingly been killed elsewhere before being displayed in this shocking pose. There have been many theories over the years. One belief is that someone from the medical field was involved. Others have speculated Short was the victim of a serial killer. To this day, the case remains cold. Well, listen up. No reporters view the body. You photo men, finish taking your pictures now. Coroner's men, put a sheet on the body as soon as they're done. Number two, the Somerton Man. Now the man's remains will be exhumed by police with hopes modern DNA technology will be able to solve one of the state's most enduring cold cases. A man seemingly died in his sleep on Somerton Park Beach in Adelaide, Australia in 1948. Yet the coroner couldn't identify him nor the cause of his death. The investigators found a strange scrap of paper on him from a book of medieval Persian poetry with the Persian phrase tamam should written on it, which translates to it is done. Later, investigators turned up a suitcase seemingly belonging to the mystery man. Within were clothes, tools, and more questions. The body was discovered on Somerton Beach. His wallet was missing. The labels had been removed from his clothing. Somerton Man had been stripped of any clues to his identity. This enigma led to the theory that the Somerton Man was a spy. In 2022, researchers using DNA analysis determined the man to be Carl Charles Webb from Melbourne. While the police have yet to confirm this identification, there are already doubts about its accuracy. Okay. So it, it's fantastic. It's like 99.99% uh, that this is the man. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Dietlov Pass Incident 
In 1959, 10 students from the Ural Polytechnical Institute in modern-day Russia set off for a skiing expedition in the Ural Mountains. After one student dropped out, the remaining, led by Igor Dyatlov, later missed a check-in with their sports club. Eventually, a search located their destroyed campsite, where the tent had been ripped from the inside out. After months, the search party found all the bodies of the hikers. Several of them were wearing little clothes and had sustained major injuries. Officially, the cause of death for one was a fractured skull, two had chest trauma, and six died from hypothermia. But for how this happened, no one knows for sure. Theories include an avalanche, military tests, or a tribal or wildlife attack. What other mysterious deaths would you like to see us cover? Let us know below. The whiteout, an unholy set of weather conditions converge and the world falls away. Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.